Youth is newness. A young person age 7 will feel excitement. A young person age 10 will feel energy and optimism. The feeling of being age 16 is eternally sought by people who are not 16 anymore. Youth is attitude. For some reason, a 37-year-old person who watches trashy movies and works in a bohemian record store will always feel younger than a 24-year-old accountant. When a 15-year-old person dresses up in old clothes, it accentuates their individuality and sense of irony. When a 38-year-old person dresses up in old clothes, it accentuates the fact that they are 38. When a 41-year-old bank teller reads a magazine article about a 23-year-old best-selling novelist, he will do the math in his head to figure out exactly how much older he is than her. Most 15-year-old nerdy people in high school are dreaming about getting their ultimate revenge at age 35 when they go to their high school reunion. When two 36-year-old people sit around listening to the cool, hip records of their youth, they frequently are hoping the music will come back into style so they can be cool and hip again. If you watch the James Bond movie You Only Live Twice with a 26-year-old bald person, he will always point out that Sean Connery is wearing a toupee. When a 39-year-old person is riding the bus and a pack of loud, obnoxious 16-year-old kids get on, the 39-year-old person can easily become nervous as the kids remind him of the bullies he used to see in his high school lunchroom. He will often spend the rest of the bus journey picturing the kids 25 years from now, working in dead-end jobs, having totally wasted their lives. Whether he admits it or not, a 49-year-old man can still be traumatized by when he got his shorts pulled down in gym class when he was 10. Many 41-year-old men who have gone through a divorce will think to themselves, it sure would be neat if I could hook up with a 22-year-old girl. After a few weeks of going to nightclubs, the smart ones will at the very least amend that to, it sure would be neat if I could hook up with a 22-year-old girl who's an old soul. Regardless of how precious youth is, many men would pass on being Bill Gates at age 35 to be Hugh Hefner at age 50. If a person starts smoking at age 16, later on when he tries to quit, he will frequently have to battle the thought, all I have to do is smoke a cigarette and I'll be 16 again. Many 59-year-old people who say that Mick Jagger is pathetic for still acting the way that he does are also secretly envious of how he still manages to get away with it. I have often wondered if 16-year-old juvenile delinquents who hang out in convenience stores and parking lots will still have a nostalgic fondness for convenience stores and parking lots when they turn 53. The essence of youth is generally lost when the idea, anything is possible, is replaced by, a lot less is possible than I originally thought and probably isn't worth bothering with. One of the main reasons why older people get nostalgic about their youth is that when they were young, they didn't know how things were going to turn out yet.